Good morning world, good morning world. It's uh, 5th of February, it's my birthday today, amazing. Can't believe it. Been 52 years on this spinning planet and I'm loving every minute of it. So I right, just my dog getting up on, on the seat next to me. Um, so today's a cold day in the UK, but it's, it's sunny and it's lovely and it's I can feel spring coming and that's a new season. So, which is good. This is something really excited to get about. I love the summer. I'm not really a winter person. I like the sunshine. Uh, so my choice of title today would be Diamonds and Pearls. Nothing to do with Prince's old song. But more to do with what how diamonds and pearls are, are made and what lessons we learn from that. Diamonds and pearls. Well, pearls, firstly, are created because through irritation. In the clam or the mollusk, um, a, a small uh, germ or a bit of sand or whatever goes inside it, and then the clam or the mollusk secretes a, a serum that then starts forming a pearl. So the irony of the pearl is that if, it was, if the clam wasn't irritated, the pearl would never exist. And next, the diamond. The diamond, as we all know, is formed deep underground and it takes thousands of years, but it's only formed through intense pressure because without the pressure, nothing would happen. A little bit of carbon and loads and loads of pressure from rock and whatever then helps that diamond form in its natural state. There are obviously diamond and pearl farms, but that's, that's a, a man-made thing. We're talking about the natural progression here. So what's that got to do with us? Do you know what? We all live in a world where people irritate us, where we feel under pressure. And working with young people, I see that massively with young people. I see them unable to cope with irritation, unable to cope with pressure. And then we have things like mental health problems off the back of it. I think what we've got to do is try and encourage our young people and ourselves to learn that irritation and pressure are part and parcel of life. And when we get irritated and under pressure, it happens. It happens. But we've got to learn to become tougher and harder and recognise that it's only a small fragment of time and that weird things do get better. So today, if you're being irritated by someone, just think, oh my word, I'm being created into a pearl here. I'm getting pearls of wisdom from this. And if you're under pressure, well, you're going to become a diamond. And what do diamonds do? They are a thing of beauty, but they're unbelievably tough as well. We use diamonds to cut things. You know, we cut things with diamonds because they're so strong, but they're formed under pressure. So instead of allowing pressure to break us, see it as a way of growing us and develop us, developing us. So pearls and diamonds is the thing for today. And it kind of leads on to my other thing that I'm a big fan of this statement. There is no growth in comfort. You've got to be uncomfortable to grow. So that kind of figures in or fits in with the, the diamond and pearl analogy. Um, so diamonds and pearls, that's my thing for today. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, and just think, I want to be a pearl or a diamond. And the pressure and irritation is there for a reason. And I've said, have a great day. God bless. Peace and love to you all. Bye.